Hi everyone, it's Marissa from Mommy Knows What's Best and my daughter Leah and I are going to be showing you how to make teething jewelry. What are you doing? And Mara's here too. Teething jewelry or um, sensory jewelry for older kids. Um, teething jewelry, as you know, are like the teething, silicone teething necklaces that moms can wear and babies can chew on either when they're baby wearing, when they're nursing, um, when they're just holding their baby. These are silicone beads. They are BPA free, uh, all of the chemical free. They are food grade silicone beads, so they are safe for babies to chew on. I like to use nylon cord for these. This has less of a chance of fraying. Yeah, it's like a satin nylon cord. This is a yellow. Uh, my daughter has a rainbow multicolor. So we have our beads. You can see a variety of beads here. We have donuts. These are like hexagons. We have um, different size round beads. We have a lotus bead. It's a pretty bead. Okay. And we're going to show you how to make the necklaces. Now on on mommyknowswhatsbest.com, there is a full step-by-step -step tutorial, but we are going to show you what it is like to make one of these necklaces. Now first, we have our string. This string is measured out at about 36 inches. Depending on how long you want the string, you can uh, make it shorter or longer. 36 inches is great for moms who are wearing these for their babies. Okay, um, if you want them a little shorter, usually my daughters are about 30 inches, sometimes a little shorter. It just depends how long you want them. Um, you can see this is a shorter necklace here compared to this longer necklace here. Okay, so that's the cord. We're going to use about 36 inches today. And so that we have kind of longer necklaces for kids to play with in this case. Um, we also have our clasps. These are barrel clasps, the breakaway cl clasps that um, prevent choking, so they break away. She has a nice teal color. I'm going to use a white. <clears throat> um, just another note, uh, these can be made, as you can see, in very childish colors, or they can be made a little more sophisticated like this, this maroon and black and gray one for like an older child who would have sensory needs, but doesn't want to look like they're wearing a teething necklace. So that's a nice um, option for older kids. And you also see this one here, the longer fun colored one, um, has movable parts so that if a child uh, has a need for fidgeting. They can fidget with it, they can chew on it, they can meet all of their sensory needs um, that they have at that time. Alright, so back to making the necklaces. We have our cord, we have our clasp, we have our, have our beads um, organized. Uh, I have about 38 to 40 beads here, she has about 25 or so, um, which, uh, you know, will make different patterns. I have a style of colors here, and she's just going to kind of do her own style. And she has some glow-in-the-dark beads as well. You can't really see in the video, but they do glow-in-the-dark. Okay, so first we want to take our cord, and the ends of the cord can kind of be frayed, and that makes it a little difficult to thread the beads through. So I'm going to take a match and I'm just going to quickly light the end of the cord. And that just melts it just enough so that it um, can easily go through the beads. And you can feel it gets a little hard or crunchy at the ends. Okay, let's do yours. Okay, hold up the end that you want to start with. We'll do yours pretty quick. Okay. Real quick, just kind of touch it. Blow it out. Okay, careful, it's going to be hot. I want to blow out. I want to blow out. Alright, then the first thing we're going to do after that, we're going to take I apart our clasp, and with I half of the clasp, 
we're going to thread it through and put a little knot at the end. Try to get it as close to the end as possible so that you're not sacrificing any length of cord. Okay, you can see I still have a little bit there. Mommy, it's not too bad. Mommy, mommy. And then you pull your clasp up so that it's inside. Okay, it's going to fit right in there. Once I have that, I like to also add a little knot yeah, right there. at the end. It's fun having a two-year-old around, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little knot at the end so that the clasp doesn't move on the necklace. Okay, so Leah, let's do yours. And then you can string the beads because you yeah, right to Ooh, right Mara, that's enough. Okay, so we're going to do a little knot close to the end. One knot should be enough. If you have like a wider um, clasp, you might need to do two knots, but one knot is usually enough. Let me tie a little knot at the end. Okay. All right. So now we have that. <clears throat> so we're going to now start beating. Okay, so I finished up the necklace part and I yeah. added the knot at the end. Yeah. So now I'm just going to yeah. add the final clasp. Yeah. Tie the knot at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Pull the cord. Yeah. And then just tie the knot at the end. Okay. And there we go. Yeah. <clears throat> This could be either a teething necklace or a sensory necklace. This is, you can see my daughter, she finished hers. This is more of like for older kids. She designed it. It's her own design. These beads glow. And she has a variety of colors there on the multicolored string. Okay, so it's, it's basically just that. And you can see you can make a whole bunch of diff different designs. We have that for like older kids who still like to chew on their jewelry but don't really want to stand out with it. This is more like a fidget necklace because it moves. Okay, these beads move up and down. I gave them some space to move. So this would be great for like, let's say, you know, kindergarten through maybe second grade. They could play with it. Okay. <clears throat> we have, this is a teething necklace again that I designed. You'll see that one on mommyknowsitsbest.com. This is one I made a while ago, back when the baby was more of a baby. There's your cup. Okay, I had a nice big shoe bead in the middle. You can see there's a variety of different kinds of beads my daughter even made. Let's take some of these off of here. I'm gonna just bundle right up. A little chew bracelet. It's really cute and it fits her. Okay, and the clasp at the end. Should we'll put that on. Okay, we have my my lotus necklace that I made. Okay, these colors kind of match um, a Tula uh, cacti carrier. If you ever saw that before, I like that. Okay, so we, that is pretty much it. So you have your string. Oh, we have our Fourth of July necklace. I forgot about this one. The donut in the middle, we have glow-in-the-dark beads for when you're wa out watching the fireworks at night. And the different beads, the knots at the end. 
Very cool. So here we go. This is how to make a chewable teething necklace or a sen or bracelet or sensory necklace. The full tutorial and where I got all my materials will be on mommyknowswhatsbest.com. Thank you for sticking around and watching.